Hi, Jason, how are you? Um, first of all, how are you adjusting um, to Tokyo? Uh, trying to still get used to it. Trying not to randomly fall asleep. Uh, waking up at all hours of the night because my body's still trying to get adjusted. Uh, so I guess it takes a couple of days. Um, have you thought about what it's going to be like um, when you take the court on Sunday against France and like how you're going to feel? Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I'm ready. Um, you know, after being in Vegas and long flight over here, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's almost that time. So, you know, ready to get it started. My last question is, have you learned anything about yourself throughout this entire Olympic process? I've learned, um, I've learned to not take things for granted. Uh, I think in the climate of, of, you know, the last year and a half, just realizing that, uh, you know, everything is, I guess, not promised and you never know what could or couldn't happen. So just standing in the moment and really enjoying um, this journey, this process of, you know, being 23 and being in the Olympics, uh, you know, it is an honor. It is, it is it's really a dream come true. Thank you. Good luck. Next up is Mark Murphy, and then we will go to Tyler Boronsky. Hey, Jason. Um, you've had a chance to work pretty closely with MA over the last couple of weeks. What has that been like? Uh, Noticed he was guarding you pretty hard at one point. Can you get a sense of what he was like as a player? Uh, yeah, he was he was trying to guard me, uh, and he had too much luck. But you know, we was just getting some extra work in at the practice, uh, putting me through some drills, getting some extra shots up. He uh, he had said that you guys have told him you want him to drive you pretty hard. Are you getting a sense for what kind of a coach he's going to be like? Yeah. Um, you know, he's obviously excited um, to be the new coach and for this opportunity. And he's, he's motivated and driven. Um, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're both excited. Um, but obviously, we got a job to do here first, and we'll take care of that when we get there. Tyler, you're up, and then next up uh, on deck would be Gary Washburn. Hey, Jason. Uh, you got a few former Celtic teammates on the France side when you see them on Sunday. Evan Fournier, Yab Wiseli, Vincent Poirier. What are you looking forward to most about kind of going up against them and just seeing them again? Yeah, uh, all three of those, those guys, uh, I, I Ev's still my teammate and love playing with those two guys, BPA and especially uh, Gershon. Um, I haven't seen those guys in a while. Um, I guess I'll be happy to see them Sunday, but uh, won't be any won't be any friends out there, you know, when the game start. Thank you. Next up is Gary Washburn, and we'll go to Brian Mahoney. Hey, Jason. Uh, two things. One, we never got your reaction. We haven't talked to you since Bradley uh, was out taking out with COVID, COVID protocols. You've been looking forward to playing with him for years, and now it's not going to happen. I mean, what's been your your reaction? Have you talked to him? How's he doing uh, after the situation? Uh, I mean, first and foremost, uh, I guess more just concerned with you know his health, just making sure that. Uh, he's doing all right, that he's, he's fine. Uh, no major, you know, problems or anything like that. And I mean, yeah, I was, I was upset. So, um, you know, this was going to be a great opportunity for both of us being able to play with each other in the Olympics. Unfortunately, uh, you know, not going to be able to happen, but looking forward to competing out here and winning a gold medal and, you know, bringing one, making sure we, we have an extra one, for, extra one for him. 
And in the second half of the last game, it seemed like you were becoming more of a distributor uh, when the shot wasn't going down. What kind of things do you want to bring to Team USA besides obviously offense? Um, yeah. You know, when your shot not falling, uh, you know, you're going to be on the floor a lot, just making sure that you're doing all the other things, rebounding, defending, pushing up the floor, getting guys involved. Because, um, I mean, the only thing that matters is is if we win the gold medal or not, not how many points you score. Uh, just as at the end of the game, you know, just doing everything uh, to, to, to contribute to winning. Brian Mahoney, you're up, and then we'll go to D. Wilkin. Hey, Jason, just wondering, uh, given how you're feeling, you said, you know, a little bit tired and trying to stay awake a little bit. What will it be like for, you know, for Devin and Drew and, and Chris Middleton to sort of only, you know, have one day, whatever it is, to fly there and then play the next day? Does that sound like it is something they can handle, or could you imagine that being pretty difficult? I mean, I'm sure it's something that they're going to have to adjust to, but, uh, you know, that's what teammates are for, you know, just being there for one another. Um, and helping them out. Thank you. D. Wilkin, go ahead. Yeah, Jason, I was just curious as you guys went through the exhibition games, what, what struck you about the difficulty of the task you guys have in front of you of trying to get, you know, all of you guys together in such a short period of time, having never, you know, played before as a team? Yeah, just getting accustomed to being with each other, spending time with each other on and off the court. Um, and things like that take time, but, uh, we've been doing, we've been working, working, uh, working at it and, uh, been a lot of progress since day one and going to continue to get better. We've got time for two more questions. We'll go to Mark Murphy and then Fabio Franklin. Hey, Jason, um, going back to your own experience with COVID, just how much has this pandemic just changed your day-to-day -day function as a basketball player and how it impacts everybody around you? My day-to-day -day function? Um, I, I mean, I've gained a lot of progress. I think I feel back to normal um, since, I guess, before I, I tested positive way back in – December, January. Um, I mean, it was something that you know the entire world has, you know, put into their day-to-day -day life, whether it's wearing a mask or getting a vaccine or getting tested. Um, you know, it's just a part of what we do now, and you know, we're all in this together. Uh, do you? Go ahead, Fago Franklin, and we'll finish with Amari. Hey, Jason, you do a lot for your community. What does it mean to, to you to give back to your community in a positive manner? And what makes Devin Booker so valuable to Team USA? <laughs> um, first question, just being from St. Louis um, and knowing that you know, not necessarily a lot of positive things um, are talked about or just a lot of positive things going where I'm from and mm, always growing up and having big dreams and knowing that, you know, one day that I'll make it and when I do make it, I always remember to give back and come back and inspire, you know, the kids from my neighborhood, my city, you know, not to be NBA players, but, um, you know, whatever they want to do to make a positive change in this world, you know, just always coming back um, and giving back and not forgetting where you come from. And uh, looking forward, you know, to, to Drew and Book and Chris, um, you know, when they, did, they just finished that season that we all just saw, uh, we're looking forward to all those guys um, bringing scoring and versatility um, and just being able to contribute and helping us, you know, win this goal. Thank you.
Final question, Amari, go ahead. Hi, Jason. Um, this is Kevin Durant's fourth campaign uh, with uh, Team USA. And he said the other day that he expects Coach Pop to be the leader of this team. But in what way is uh, Kevin going to be a leader for you guys? Um, just somebody that has been through this, uh, you know, Olympic process before and, and won multiple gold medals. And, um, you know, just he's just been a part of it before. So he, he, he kind of knows what it takes to, to get the job done.